Guys, I'm on a roll uh, with failing at good vlogs lately. I feel like this is one of those things where you're like, hashtag horse ownership, hashtag barn life. We don't have a shoe. It's also, of course, because this is how the world works, take a wild guess at which foot it is. Oh, left front, the one that we've been rehabbing all this time, the one that we were worried about, his sprained check ligament, is the one. So, naturally, he came in missing a left front shoe because I was gonna film some dressage, so I don't get to do that today. That's just how my life goes. I feel like I can't generalize that though into like this is how my life goes because that's horse ownership and that's barn life and that just seems to be how it goes so we're rolling with the punches today might be a boring vlog because that's what i had planned but i am going to try my best i have some chores to do and um i need to lunge a client's horse and clean up uh you might have noticed that the place is a mess hopefully you guys can hear me they are mowing today and it's kind of loud but i'm gonna try to film this anyways because i was busy all morning so we had a busy morning my coach rode richie uh, actually, I put some footage in of that here. Uh, he has just come so far. I'm sorry if this is like all over the place, but Richie's been really good. He's just been such a star lately and really excited about how he's been doing. He's been really going great. So we did that this morning. I had a jump school lesson on uh, my other sort of secretive project. I can't really talk about it yet, but stay tuned for something to talk about in the future. I was actually breaking in this morning these um, new uh, Professionals Choice cross country boots. Not sure how I feel about the gray color. I thought it would look good on bays. Um, we'll see, but I'm breaking them in. I haven't tried this brand before, but I personally was not a big fan of the um, Magic Equip ones. They really rubbed when I tried them with Jippy. I went with regular Woofs. Um, with Jip, and then I went with Woofs again with Doppler. The Woofs have always been kind of my go-to for the level that I ride at. Um, they're easy to clean and they do the job, um, but I'd like to have a nicer pair going forward. And um, I had a 10% off coupon with Riding Warehouse, so there I did that. So as for what we're gonna do on this sporadic brain exploding vlog that I'm having because my day was thrown out of sorts <laughs> to say the least I'm really just gonna do afternoon chores and cleaning up I need to do my afternoon muck I need to make grain and like I said lunge that client horse uh, I have a couple beamer sessions to do and some stretching so that's kind of really like all I have left to do today and uh, Doppler kind of threw my game off so let's just get right to it Richie's new favorite activity is carrot stretches.
This is just kind of the only time of day I give him treats now, which is why he was so excited about it. Um, I just He just turned four, trying to be firm about um, respectful behavior, listening to me, and um, I believe in not being too treat happy. I know that everyone loves giving them cookies and they're so cute, but I believe that giving them too many treats just makes them sour and they don't respect you as much. They just want food for work and it's actually just work. There's not always food involved, so that's just my uh, take on it. So despite the fact that I can't ride today, I'm still gonna groom and beamer him. Uh, he's shutting out, he definitely needs a good grooming, and uh, he could use a beamer anyways. Honestly, I really get tired of taking fly gear on and off. I think it's worse than blanketing. The leg things get so annoying. I know, first world problems. So right now, a typical day in my life um, consists of starting with morning chores, so feeding, turnout, mucking, try to do a fast muck quick in the morning, start to prep for later in the day. Right now I've been trying to ride uh, my coach and my horses in the morning if possible. Ooh. Doppler, you're so sassy, it's not cookies. So I want to make sure that my coach gets her rides done in the morning, first thing, because she has to go to work to train other horses. So if I don't have time to get one or two of my rides done in the morning, then I can typically ride in the afternoon. It hasn't been too hot yet. Um, are you showing everyone how you like to lick me? Oh, does this hand taste better? He's so smushy sometimes. So smushy. Just a big cuddle bug. <laughs> he wants me to scratch him. He's so silly. He's such a goofy goober. He's happy to tell you what he wants, that's for sure. Oh. I can't scratch you all day. I can't. I have work to do. Such a ham. I love him so much. Anyway, so after morning rides, whoever rides is lunch, remock, anything I didn't finish in the morning. Uh, in the afternoon, I try to do all the stretches that need to be done, any beamer sessions um, that need to be done, things like that. I just try to catch up on what didn't happen in the morning and uh, prepare for the rest of the day, make grain, fill water troughs if need be. Stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of how things have been going. And uh, thankfully my schedule kind of ebbs and flows and I have busy days and not so busy days yesterday. Um, we got to go see Flower's baby and take a field trip, which was fun. So um, my boss is super uh, cool and flexible like that. Hopefully uh, the farrier comes today. It sounded like he was. And hopefully his foot is in good enough shape to get a shoe on. I was kind of irritated that he pulled a shoe because the farrier is literally coming to do his shoes. 
next week in six days. So I kind of hope the fairy just does all four feet now, so I'm not just paying for a shoe to get tacked on, but we'll see what happens. Never know these days. See how bad he's still shedding? Ugh. Crazy. blanket on him but that's kind of all we're gonna do with him today I gotta lunge that horse now so let's go do that um, Wow it's really bright out here I am trying out my new iPhone while my GoPro is on the charger and I got an iPhone 13 Pro for basically free if you have Verizon trade in your phone. Anyways, um, I'm trying side reins on this horse today. Usually I work her in the Pessoa system, but I found that side reins were working really well for Richie, so I'm trying it out on her today. Well, that's pretty much all I have for today since Doppler so lovingly ruined my groom ride. <laughs> my brain is fried. Groom tack and ride vlog for me. I will keep you guys uh, updated. Honestly, I should probably do an evening barn routine soon for you guys now that we're kind of kicking into summer. And Rex is about to come home, which is exciting. So yeah, I don't know why I'm out of breath from sweeping. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll try to update you guys on more later this week. Thanks for hanging in there with me on the vlog on a just chores, walking and talking kind of day. I am really excited that we are going to Vermont for an event in a week and a half now. That man's obviously not going. But, um, <laughs> so I'm excited for that and I'm excited for Rexy to get back and show you guys some videos of him and give you guys an update on what's been going on. So, more to come. I apologize it didn't come this time. <laughs> See you guys soon.